which is why I'm super excited for the rotation, to which I'll be trying to do a three-hour live stream on the first day, the 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Hello, Snugglebugs. Snuggle, Snugglebugs. And welcome back to another Druid game. It's Hearthstone, right? Druid Stone, if you will. Um, where we are playing uh, on our road to Legendary with Control Warrior uh, still. We're going to keep Sakasan, um, as we have mentioned, I think, in previous uh, videos before, that we are basically just going to try to get to turn 8, um, survive to turn 8, play Arkazakasan first, and sort of win that way. Now, I kind of usually go, are they aggro druid, are they spell druid, are they beast druid? But now I guess we also have to worry about, are they corrupt um, animal companion druid? I mean, don't be wrong, I'm glad that there's a little bit of variety, uh, adding a bit more variety to the deck type, but it just adds even more popularity to the class of the Druid, um, as if 30% of decks played wasn't enough. Armor. Next turn, we, I guess, either Armor and Frozen or Nixie and Drake if they play anything. <laughs> uh, Druid play minion on four. That's... I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Tonight, on the Just for Laughs Hearthstone Edition, Snuggly Snorlax. At least they did an overgrowth on four. With four mana, I guess, in particular, because technically that's their turn three. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know if there's AX. No, I think we just need to survive. We're not going to win with the damage, so I don't think playing this makes sense. Next turn, we're probably just going to armor up Heavy Plate, followed up maybe by armor up Outrider's Axe kind of thing, right? Like, we're not... Yeah, they guff. I mean, they didn't have a, they didn't have overgrowth, so I can't complain that they had the perfect curve, but always guff. Or not always. Um, very commonly guff. Not their fault that uh, there's only one in the deck, so you pretty much guaranteed draw it um, when you have five mana, right? That's That's how the game usually works. I say as I technically have two very important or very good legendaries in my deck that are also in my hand. So, yeah. The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy in this pink shirt guy. Who does he think he is? Just a little snuggly man. Snuggle, snuggle, snuggle. Snuggle. For some reason that makes the Moira. I feel like that's how she would say snuggle. Do you realize the baby is crying? I do. Alexa. Alexis, now is not the time for petty fog. David. David, I'm here! Good show. If you haven't watched Shit's Creek, I highly recommend it. Alright. Like I said, I guess now we just do this. May as well hit. I have, you know, next turn I may just play the Rokara. only have one more turn before I get out my Kazakhstan. They may coin, if they're the Corrupt, they could coin Survival of the Fittest. Oh, they're Kazakhstan. Shoot. So they're like two turns ahead of me, and they have Guff, so they'll be drawing a bunch. We can fast forward that piece. <laughs> okay, they have ten cards, which means they did not get quelled a la la la. And I guess we can... Nixie and Drake smack them. I guess we have to wait till our turn, but they're going to have like four treasures before we draw our first one, and eleven mana. Plus a handful of cards. If they have like Moonlit Guidance, um, they're going to be able to get so many treasures. Okay. Oh, they do have a Moonlit Guidance. Rock boss. Don't be a Wax Ranger. That's all I ask. Don't be a Wax Ranger. Don't be Embers of Ragnaros? Oh my gosh, it's Embers of Ragnaros. Oh no, that means they draw another Embers of Ragnaros here. Okay. Uh, I haven't played that many spells. We're gonna go for the Queldy. Ancient Collections. Queldalar, good. Holy Book. Boom, Dr. Boom's Boom Box. Because we know that they have at least one Embers here, and they're probably going to have the other one, so we actually want to get a board full of stuff to try to survive. 
Sadly, Quelldelire is actually not that good. Ooh, Rancor. Okay. 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 I'm actually quite happy with this. I'm actually quite happy. Ooh. How does this work? Uh, yeah. If this doesn't die to the boom bots, I can shield slam it. There, it's not green. Boom. So much armor. Ooh. They have two embers of Ragnaros. It's 48 damage. It's actually not enough. I have 56, plus I can gain 10, 12, like 14, kind of more here. Um, if they play minions first, I have multiple ways of doing like massive shield sh shield slams. Okay. Wondering if that was the smarter play. I mean, yes, it gained me a lot more armor. Oh, they had their solar eclipse. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Boom, boom, boom. Gotta get that. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want to do this, but... Kind of have no choice but to try to get out um, minions to block the other Embers of Ragnaros that they have. They have their other Solar Eclipse. Nope. Okay, well, they, we know they have it. They have their other Solar Eclipse that's still probably too much. Uh, I know six I could technically absorb. Bubba, okay. I don't mind Bubba, I don't think. I mean, it depends on what I get here, I suppose. Because that takes out some of my minions. I don't currently... Well, this and Shield Slam can take out the actual Bubba. Ooh. Ooh, come on now. Come on now. Oh man. This shield slam. Still takes out this. Allows me to hero power. This. Unfortunate. They need... Well, I technically live if all they have is embers. Uh, nope, I got Bubba. Um, is there anything I can do? No, no, never mind. They have too much mana. Well, uh, there wasn't really anything I could do there. Um, I mean, it was a treasure race. Uh, they just happened to have, you know, the extra draw. They had, uh, what is it, like 18 mana they had at that point. And they had, uh, what did they have to hit me with? One, two, three, four. They hit me with four Embers of Ragnaros there. So, I mean, that's the best we could do. I think that's the best we could do. Kind of shows you both sides of how the treasures can go. Also kind of highlights the fact that really this entire game right now is... Um, related to just who gets Kazakazan out faster or be aggro and win before Kazakazan can be played, right? Which um, I don't think is a super healthy form or, or way for the meta to be, uh, which is why I'm super excited for the rotation to which I'll be trying to do a three hour live stream on the first day, the 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, uh, as same as we did last time. Um, and I'm gonna be opening up some packs that I got from the pre-purchase, trying to build some decks, maybe playing with some viewers. I'm not entirely sure. We'll kind of just play it by ear like we did last time. It was fun, it was good, it was great. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Surprise! <laughs> We're back. I uh, I thought we, uh, for some reason, that maybe it was because of the way that game went and the treasures that just had me all over the place up in the old Nog Nog. So I uh, thought that was game number two of our normal videos for the day, but was not. So here we go with uh, number two against a priesty priest. Probably also a race to Kazakasan, likely the way that priest is, or or shadow priest. Shadow priest is also pretty popular. So uh, we'll keep the blade storm. Try to get. Yeah, I mean, Nixie and Drake could be okay unless they get crazy. This is a bit too slow, in my opinion. Oh, they're questy quests. Ooh. Ooh. They're questy priest. I don't know exactly how it would be built, but I am kind of looking forward to the new rotation. Um, 
and trying out the Quest Priest again. Some of the new cards, some of the new meta. Um, if it's going to be any slower, then maybe that'll be good for us. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alright, not. Oh, it is because it gets the plus uh, one attack. I was going to say, not so good for the board right now, but I forgot about the plus one. Sure, sure. That's great. We'll hit with our ant to draw. Sorry, I just thought I heard some weird noises. Oh, is this like a... Did I even notice? Is that gold? No. Okay. I was going to say, is this all golden? Like a very pretty one? Um. So where they are, Quest, they actually beat us in a, in a full-on long game. So we, not to constantly repeat myself, but as this meta dictates, we absolutely need to just draw our Kazakasan a sap. And, uh... Try to do that. Mm, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, because they they beat us long, right? Like, we can't win in fatigue, because then they get their quest done. Uh, this version doesn't play Mutanus, because I took it out to try to win the Kazakhstan races. Um, it, it, in the comments below, just uh, how... Like, is it just me... Or does it feel like sometimes when you switch decks around, um, all of a sudden you're going against, um, say, versions of the deck that go against you better? You know what we're going to do? We're going to coin the Rokara just to get these free draws in. Sorry, I'll elaborate on that un momento. I just want to see what I draw here. Uh, yeah, we'll just smack that guy. Um, so, like, by that I mean... Whenever I change, like, I, I picked this deck because I was going against, um, I guess, like I did in the last game, a lot of spell druids, um, pretty much nothing but please my little 4-5. Okay, that's good. I mean, I could have just shield slammed it anyway, I guess, probably, but, uh, yeah, just blade storm you away, hero power face. Um, now there's no need to attack, but, like, it, so I changed it up to make it so that I could try to do better in those races. And then I go against this deck. And the only reason I say, I know it's only one of two, but it just, it's like, you know, you go against, say, five or six decks where this one should be better. So you change it up, and then and then it flips on you. Um, last month, after we got to Legend, I remember thinking that, you know, ah, oh, so I'm playing against so many spell druids and things, and um, so we're gonna, this is where, why we tried, say, the aggro druid at that point. And it did work out for us, but we did have a couple games at the start, too, where we went, oh, okay, now we're against, uh, like, Control Warrior and Quest Hunter, which does really good against uh, Aggro Druid. And it's like, i never seen those too much before that. Or is it confirmation, uh, I don't know if confirmation bias is the right word, but basically, or is it the, um, you're looking for it because it's your counter. So you always feel like you play against it more, but you don't actually. Uh, anyway. That's just, I guess, something that was on my mind, so I just wanted to bring that up. I'm undead, not, dead. not dead, dead. Okay. What do we do against you? I guess we just hit you and hero power. Armor plate? Ah, maybe I should have traded the armor plate. Because, like I said, we're not going to win this via damage. Okay. Uh, I mean, we'll probably just play the raid boss here. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, depending on what they play, if they play anything at all, this dying will draw them two cards, so they'll burn something. They already played their natural seven drop, so if I can get them to burn their soul mirror, which I mean, I guess if I play this. Okay, they're just. Oh, yeah, now they won't burn anything. Shoot. Well, they'll draw my two, and they gotta play something else. Yep. Smart. Oh, palm rating. Should have did that first. Would have made some of those other cards you use not cost so much mana. Not that it would have mattered, I guess, if you're just looking to get rid of stuff. Sure. Now they probably have their soul mirror, which they'll use. Um, which is slightly rough. Scorpid. Hmm. 
into Soul Mirror? Or do you not have your Soul Mirror yet? Hmm, they don't have it yet. It looks like oh, I snap picked that that one. What was that? I mean, if it's hysteria, it won't work. Nope, another palm reading. They're digging. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. You keep digging. Uh, so this actually kind of technically gives me eight. What, 14, um, ah, shits. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all right. May as well do it this way. Gosh, I don't want to use a shield slam on that. I do not want to use a shield slam on that. But I got nothing else. We have the mana. Why not? Hmm. So they still need to play a 7 and an 8. Oh, they got their Mutanus back. Or at least that's what they're trying to do. Okay, Shadow or Death, they can target this now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Eh, it's not a seven cost anymore because they reduced it. Uh -huh. Shield shatter. Rancor. Minefield. Hero power. Alrighty. Leaves them with the 4-7, but... So we're in a bit of a pickle. Unless, of course, they reduce, the, like I said, their other 7. Oh, no. Soul Mirror. No, they got it. They had to. Shoot. Wow, oh, another one. Okay. Come on, Kazakasan. Come on, come on, Kazakasan. Come on, acknowledge. Brawl. I think they use both their amulets, so I don't have to worry about wide boards coming up later. Uh, yeah. Need four more armor? Sure. But the armor, like I said, isn't as important. Can they not soul mirror? I forget. Can they not soul mirror unless I have a minion? Oh, they do have one of those left. For some reason, I thought they played both. Oh, they might have discovered one. Actually, yeah, never mind. They discovered a lot of spells there. Okay, well, kind of need to do it, so. They treasure hoard. I kind of want the damage. But Annoyahorn Horn is more than 8 damage most of the time, so. Yeah, let's go with the Pure Cold this time. Yeah, Boombox. Sure. Mm -hmm. Ancient Reflections. Ah, uh, kind of wish I did the Queldy. They punished me. It punished me. That's what happens. Okay. I have things you never knew sure. You what do you got for me? Luminance? Alright. I'll probably just brawl, depending on what I get here. Yeah, I'll just annoy a horn. Wah, 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 wah. Sure. Uh, the only thing there is, of course, that means that unless they do take out some... I guess, actually, yeah. I don't have any room to play anything. What I'm really looking for is probably Wax Rager, Ancient Reflections. Even Ancient Reflections on that would have been kind of... I mean, not, again, not that the armor probably matters. Their deck is so thin that at some point, once as soon as they draw their 7-drop, Although they might be waiting because they might think that I have a Mutanus, actually. That'd be interesting. Light Never thought of that, actually. That could be to my favor. So basically, don't play the cards in my hand. Try to mentally trick them to waiting as long as possible. Three, four, oh, man. I guess I have this. 
there any way I can manipulate? Oh, Ancient Reflections. Um, I will save this for the Wax Rager because it's so important. Um, two, four. Sure. Hero power. Yep. Um, Frozen Buckler is not really important, and I'm going to keep the facade up. Yep. Hopefully they don't have a seven drop. That's all I can hope for. Do 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 do. Ah, eh, pure cold. I mean, is this worth it? If do they have anything that does a mass one damage? Ah, oh, or soul mirror. Soul mirror there would be really bad. All right, I guess we don't really need to. And is this even really worth it? I mean, there's no reason not to, I guess. I'm thinking if they are afraid of Mutanus, so they wouldn't be playing their minions. So, yeah, they're just going to try to outvalue me. Oh, they have that silence, so actually Wax Rage or Ancient Reflections isn't even, like, I am almost out of cards. completely game-changing. So maybe Boom, Boom, Dr. Boom's Boombox first. Okay, so this is my Brawl turn. I mean, if we wanted, like I said, we could. Is it either? No, none of these are. Holy or Or Shadow. Oh, there's that. Um, okay, well. I guess we Brawl. We do get that out of the way. I mean, we can play the Wax Rager. Yeah, why not, actually? Because they have to silence it, or they're going to think they have to silence it, and then if they use, hopefully, that's their last one, then we can safely, um, arcane, or, or whatever, ancient, oh boy. Uh-huh. But does that give them anything on board? Sure. Armor, I mean, if we're going into fatigue, I think I just win there anyway, I believe. I could be mistaken. Alright, well. Just do this. Hope that they don't have a uh, another silence or board clear type of thing. Oh, they have soul mirror, dang. I mean, at least they're all honorably killed on both sides. That's something. Except for the one. Mm. Mm. Yes! Oh, God. All they needed was, like, one more silence effect, and I would have been done for it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, starting to really like the Ancient Reflections Wax Rager. It's not really one I ever used to go for. I used to really be, uh, I don't know, excited for the Embers of Ragnaros. Um, and it just turns out that in a lot of games, sometimes just completely and utterly owning the board uh, works. Now, they did something, I'm going to try not to ramble too much, but they did something that I always had was very careful when I played the Quest Priest not to do, which was they apparently discounted all their 7-cost spells, and then they played their Mutanus. So they had nothing for 7. That's why That's why we actually won that one in Fatigue. That's just as simple as it is. I hope you enjoyed watching those. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Saying this for the second time, but I'll see you in the next one.